Hello guys, Shabify here. Just a quick update on my Godot plugin, Quest Manager. With this update, we'll introduce branching quest lines and you'll be able to call functions from an auto loaded script. So let's create a quick one. So let's add a quest and could give it a name. Let's give it quest one and some details. Details. Now we could add a step. So an action step is just a step that you complete something and then you move on. Let's just call it step one, for example. Now we could create a branch here after this step. So a branch is basically another action step, but it has a condition. Like if you fail the step, it goes to the alternate step. So let's just call this branch step for now. And we could hook this up and then we can duplicate this control C control V that's another function I added to you can copy and paste now and let's see step two and paste again now we have an alternate step we can hook this to the bottom one and then let's add an end node an end node is just then the quest was completed and you make another one for both sides all right save override this test that was done okay so now we could test the scene so this is for the branches so let's press this key here and it should load up here alternate step step one branch step so what it does it skips over um well, i didn't even put the function there yet so let's do that now so function call step there it is or node I should say what this does is calls a function on an auto loaded script and then it instantly transfers to the next step look that up here what you should do here is the name of your auto load auto load and then function and what the code does it splits this string splits it by this dot here it grabs the auto load name and then it grabs the function name and then it calls it in script so let's look at what that's doing the actual code so we could come over to my scripts and go to the quest manager this is what you're using in the game itself we come down to here we are function call step right here we have a function call or call function function <laughs> that uh does all the work so it's split it so split at the period key period then it gets the singleton name the first index then the function there and then callable just get rid of the open and close brackets and just grabs the name then on the auto load to get tree get root get node remember auto load script is actually the actual an actual node in the scene when it's when the game's running and then it also grabs the parameters too from this section if you added a metadata node you could connect um could add parameters like an integer for example put that up give it a name so whenever it uses the params here it actually converts these to an array so it doesn't use the name but otherwise for all these other ones it's actually a dictionary converts to a dictionary instead. and that should be it for the most part so what I, what i'm currently doing is i'm working on the actual example scene let me go back here save that right now i'm working on this scene so whenever i add a quest it crashes so i'm like right here trying to change up apart from that i changed the entire save system so that will break um the compatibility of older versions and remember it's still alpha so that should be expected now anyways let's look at the window you open up editor window here so i moved the save system to its own node our own script there we go so i could save data i grab the editor get quest data and i get the editor data as well and then when you want to load it back i actually grab all the node types and check what type it is type of node and that's all saved in the resource itself let's look back over here something broke 
Still working. This data is just one quest and it's saved by IDs. So right here we have details and we have the uh, steps, quest steps. That's in its actual dictionary. These are all the actual steps. So alternate step, uh, what's this one? That's the end node. So one thing I want to figure out now is sorting these in proper order. If that makes sense. So whenever I'm loading a step, uh -oh, broke something. I'll fix that in a bit. Whenever I load into a quest to grab its details, I want to know like which one should be first or second or third. But I actually have that as next ID. So next IDs are here, so I know what it is. So I have to program all of that just to view the quest. And maybe put it in an array. And for the most part, that's it. That's the progress so far. So here is my GitHub for the quest so far. So this is the release branch or main. So this is what you could grab anytime and use it. This doesn't have uh, branching quests or function calls or anything like that yet. But on the experimental branch, this is what I'm actually working on. So don't download this. This is all uh, unfinished stuff where I'm pushing to currently. Just pushed to this yesterday. As of this video anyways. Yeah, so like and subscribe guys to keep updated. I'll probably post the release uh, video whenever it's finished. Do some proper coverage of it. Take care guys. Have a good one.